good morning. It's actually nearly 11 o'clock. Um, I have been in bed working and I'm continuing working. Thought it might be nice to take you along on a little Monday vlog with me. I've got some cute little plans today. Um, very insular, very introverted. And the feedback seems to be that everyone enjoys my like day-to-day -day daily vlogs. So yeah, I thought this would be nice to do. I did my hair in like that unicorn heatless curler method, you know, where it's basically like a French braid like down the back of your head. And I fucking hate the results. Look at it. It doesn't like, it's definitely curled on the ends, but I think my error is that I put some dry shampoo in. Like, what is this? I'm like low key recovering from a cold and Doug has gone to the gym. So I'm just gonna work for like an hour until he's back. I am just working on my thoughts for my March reads, which I'm recording today. I should have done this like a couple of days ago, but I've been sick all weekend. So again, why do I keep getting sick? So I'm just bashing it out now on the same day that I film, which I don't really like to do, but oh well. This is where I like to work from most of the time, from my soft office, as I like to call it. Right, um, it's actually quarter to 12 now. I'm fucking starving. All I've had is a coffee. <laughs> You know, when you just get into a really good flow state with working, but you get too hungry. My hair looks so ridiculous, it's so big. My skin is like a criminal level of dry today. Where I was sick all weekend, I just like slept and rolled into bed and like barely washed my face or put any moisturizers on. And I've been using a new retinol for like a month and my skin's been pretty good right up until I stopped moisturizing and now I'm basically peeling. Can't find my Aveeno Oat Serum in any shops because it went viral on TikTok and everyone sold it out. Not, I didn't make it go viral. I've been gatekeeping that one a little bit, but I've been using this Soak Your Skin 80 hour liquid moisturizer um, that's got hyaluronic acid in it from Thayer's. I got sent this, so it seems to be doing a pretty good job so far. It's not really like upsetting my skin or anything. It doesn't feel irritating. It's just like a nice thin layer of hydration. I think I sound really congested, but I hope it's not too bad. What I should really be doing today is resting, um, but I don't wanna not have an upload for you all, basically. My goal was to be really consistent and I've just kind of managed to get ahead with my filming schedule after taking last weekend off or whatever weekend it was when you're watching this. Um, so yeah, I just wanna be in a good place. I look like a mad scientist. One thing about me is I'm always gonna get back in bed. I'm gonna blame it on the fact that I'm unwell, but realistically I'm back in bed like all the time. I've got a review for more books. I'm just gonna show you my process because you might find that interesting. I do script all my YouTube videos to some extent um, and like structure them, but this one is a little bit more structured than the others. I list the March reads, title, author, if it's part of a series, what the genre is, and then I do a brief synopsis underneath just to remind myself. And then I just add in my thoughts and I do this for every single book. So in an ideal world, what I would do is when I finish the book, because that will show up in my phone notes as well, I would write my thoughts immediately on what I thought of the book after I finished it. Especially in a month where I read nine books, that's what I would do. I've managed to successfully do that about twice, to be honest. Um, so this is the worst case scenario when the morning of when I wanna film this video, I'm going through my notes and like trying to recall everything I thought about the book. And it usually, it takes a lot longer doing it this way. I always think I'm gonna be able to remember books that I read like at the start of the month. But alas, no, I'm not very good at that. So yeah, I'm having to like go through it and recall it. Bad YouTuber, not correct, but it's fine. It's like so fine because I've got time, I've got space, I've been sick. It takes me like, as you sit in like a while, I've been getting distracted and going on my phone a bit as well. You win some, you lose some. I didn't want to do this last night. I was still feeling pretty unwell. So here we are. I've had some PR recently that I said I would put on my stories last week. Well, I didn't say that I would do it, but I like to put my PR on my stories. So I said it to myself and I haven't done it yet. So I'm just gonna photograph them quickly. Um, I'll show you what they are. Just to make it super, super clear, I haven't been sent this stuff 
um, in exchange for a feature in a video. I've just been sent it on the off chance that I like it and, you know, speak about it. So I got this gorgeous headband, which actually I've really wanted one of these, but I've refused to buy one. Um, so I got sent this and a gentle duo exfoliant by Coats. Really nice packaging. A mask by Origins and a little brush to put it on with, which is really cute. This is the Glow Boosting Gel Moisturiser Mask. Two beautiful rings from the Promise Ring Company. I said I wanted rings that I could stack um, because I haven't been working on my stack very well lately I want more stackable jewellery and I got these two beautiful ones I thought it would be funny if I put this on my April Fool's that I got engaged but actually I realised that's not funny at all <laughs> so yeah I've been wearing both of those absolutely stunning I also forgot that I got this hair by Sam McKnight Oil so I'll just take little quick pictures of these and then upload them onto my Instagram story <laughs> So it's around 1pm, I'm actually progressively feeling like more coldy, so I decided to make a lemon sip and Doug has just got back from the gym. I'm just finishing up my book reviewing work. I'm swinging wildly between feeling like I'm not going to do anything today, like fuck it, and also between being like I want to do everything. I can do it. I love a rot day as much as the next person, but honestly, I've been in bed for the last two days and my body like aches because of it. So I thought I'd change my scenery and just come down here and do a little bit of work from down here. So we're gonna go to Tesco soon. I desperately need some more cold and flu tablets and I just wanna get some like bits for meal prepping for the week and dinners. And I think that will make me feel a lot better. And I wanna get lemons for making ginger shots. Do you know what? I also, on Saturday, I went to the gym um, with Doug for the first time in ages and I just went because I was like oh I'll just do some stretching for an hour and just like do some flexibility routine mobility stuff. I started doing my split sequence which is like a sequence of exercises I do that help me work on my splits obviously. I haven't done it for a full hour in ages I've been doing like 20 minutes every now and then. My hamstrings fucking hurt. I literally have like the tightest hamstrings ever like I've never been able to touch my toes and it has improved slightly in yoga, so I still can't touch my toes from standing, but I can like touch them from the side and stuff, which I never used to be able to do. Really put some work into these little legs on Saturday. And yesterday I was achy, but today is like so bad. You know when you, <laughs> you know when you like almost can't stand up straight because your hamstrings hurt so much. Basically, we're going to Tesco in a minute, and there is so much stuff in my fridge, but loads of it's not mine and a lot of it's like easter food you know when you've got like loads of ingredients but like nothing to actually eat or like cook into ingredients like there's a whole chocolate cake there and loads of fruit which is great for snacking on but there's no actual actual food i'll do something with this i meal plan each week just like roughly based on what's in my cupboard so that I'm not spending loads of money and letting food go to waste. I got these for my breakfast. I've never tried them before and they look really nice. I'm excited to try them. Right, we're back. It is fairly late in the day. I say that, it's like 20 past three, which is late for me. I'm a morning person in terms of doing stuff. I'm feeling a bit better for being outside. And Doug has changed the sheets, hoovered, done all the chores that I didn't want to do. So all that's left for me to do is put on some makeup and film some videos. I feel like I haven't done that much makeup recently. Like I haven't gotten ready properly for anything. I've not been wearing much makeup to work, which has actually been really refreshing. Also, I haven't been going out a lot on the weekends. Like I just haven't been very sociable lately, like to an actual event that requires me to wear makeup. I like to rub this in um, just to make sure it's everywhere. Cause while I really like the applicator for that, I feel like I can't get a good coverage with it. I did some shopping on Saturday before I got sick, before I came down with the sickness. So after I'm done filming, I think I wanna show you like a little haul. Um, I've done quite a lot of shopping recently, 
which is quite unlike me. And I've just been re-upping on like toiletries that I've run out of. I know I don't make a lot of purchases that often and I think I'm probably a little bit too hard on myself when I do, but I wanted to share everything with you so you can all see because I know people are quite curious. It sounds very summery outside my window. I don't know if you can hear anything. It's like an absolutely gorgeous day and also the first day of British springtime and I feel like it's just perfect. I feel like I really should have used today to film some TikTok content, but I just feel very uninspired with TikTok at the moment. I know it's how a lot of people found me. I feel like something weird has gone on with the algorithm in March. And when people complain about their views being down, this sounds kind of heartless, but I'm usually the first person to say to people like, well, your content's just not that good. Like you're not getting views because your content's not good. You're not shadow banned, you're not like stuck out in view, 200 view jail, whatever it is like, and I say that to myself a lot, like it sounds really awful, but like I'll always say like, if you're not getting good views, it's because your content's not good. Don't get me wrong, like that sounds really mean, but I say that to myself as well. Like it's about being consistent and like posting regardless. We think it's very, very easy to combine your self-worth with your views and likes. And I've been pretty good at not doing that throughout all this time I've been making content, but I can see why it does get very disheartening very quickly when your content isn't performing as it usually does. You see in my case, that's led to some an inspiration but for me I think it's all about like reframing I remember the days I used to literally pray that I would get a video over a thousand views and now I'm like sat here being like why can't I get any videos over 10k views like what you really wanted is now your normal so I'm just trying to view everything with that kind of perspective I had a five pound voucher so I finally rebought the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and I just love it so much so I'm really excited to have this back in my life I got my seconds pierced a couple of weekends ago which I've been saying I'm gonna do for years and I finally did and I managed to get a little gold barbell in them which is good I didn't do it, the piercer did it, obviously. I don't really like how they look, I'm not gonna lie, but that's just because I hate stud earrings. I'm such a side sleeper though, and I hate the process of healing piercings. So I slept with like a travel neck pillow so I could put my ear in the gap for the first couple of nights. But yeah, they've just been really annoying me. I haven't washed my hair since I got them done as well, which is actually really gross. No, it was a week ago I got them done. It wasn't two weekends ago in that case. Also, I think my hair looks incredible for seven days. I've only put dry shampoo in it last night, but I've been sleeping with my hair in a heatless curler, so it's been off my face, which has actually hugely helped with not making my hair greasy. It's quite low down, I don't know if you can see, because I said I wanted to be able to stack another lobe piercing, like right on top of it. This is stretched, so it looks like a fucking saggy bum hole. I'm back in a seat that I haven't been in ages because I've been on a sort of like filming in my bedroom vibe. But today we can take a bit of a change of scenery. So I've just gotten set up with my books, my laptop and everything. I'm gonna record, I can't record myself recording because I only have one camera, but I will be back. The time is literally five minutes to four. So I will probably finish around five if I'm lucky. all done finally and do you know what i was right it took me to 5 p.m and then i had loads of issues with my memory card so it took me to 5 20. i'm gonna film three videos today but i'm only gonna film one well two including this one um it is still a beautifully bright day outside and it's just like such an improvement for my mood and i think i'm gonna start doing some like prep for dinner i know it's only five but i just want to get it all out of the way i am very impressed at how a cold and flu tablet can make me feel to be honest i say that and what i mean is i'm gonna make some dark chocolate almonds and put on a pasta sauce for this evening it's gonna be time to do some gardening soon i think not today obviously but like oh sorry my tits out not to fall into like archaic gender stereotypes but I do the cooking and Doug does the washing up just because I like cooking so much and I hate washing up and we don't have a dishwasher. So I don't really know what it is exactly I'm making, but we have some gnocchi and I wanted to make some like red pasta sauce. I'm gonna put some butter beans in there just for some extra veg and protein. And I've got, did I say I've got some gnocchi? I've got some gnocchi. My knives are not sharp enough. 
knees are hurting my eyes. God, I'm feeling so much better. It's such a miracle what cold and flu tablets can do, isn't it? Olive oil? Just there. Oh my God, my eyes are so watering. I get really overconfident with cutting onions. Usually put um, anchovies in this, but I don't have any. Um, if you are not vegetarian, put fish sauce in it. Just like a splash, really, really helps, really delicious. You won't taste it, I promise. Or if you are vegetarian, you can get vegetarian fish sauce. I'm pescatarian, hence why fish sauce. That's what she's looking like. I'm gonna whack the lid on. I'm also gonna make chocolate covered almonds for my desk at work because I always like a little Tupperware supply to keep to snack on. Um, and we have leftover chocolate from Easter, so perfect. Making chocolate covered almonds is literally like my new addiction. And I'm obviously just convinced that it's so much healthier for you than eating a pack of biscuits, which I believe to some extent is true, but I'm not actually sure. Uh, who cares? Who cares about what's healthy? As long as it's yummy and it makes me feel good. I've been doing these with dark chocolate, but we only had milk chocolate in the house. So milk chocolate and sea salt it is. I'm not gonna lie, forking all of the almonds out of the chocolate mixture is a little bit tedious, but a fork is the best way to do it. Unless you have like really tiny kitchen tongs, you know, like the metal chopsticky type ones would be good for this that are like big tweezers. But I don't have a pair of those. All done I'm just gonna whack some sea salt on them I usually have loose sea salt like coarse like molded sea salt but I don't have any so I'm just gonna whack like quite a lot on there I'm not gonna lie I do like putting a lot of sea salt on these absolutely gorgeous and I'm gonna put them in the fridge for like half an hour um I hate washing up so I'm gonna get the washing up done and out the way and I'm gonna leave this tomato sauce to simmer without a lid on just because it's a little bit liquidy and then I'll pop the lid back on. could do the exciting bit now which is showing you things I've bought recently <laughs> I'm gonna start with two fairly big purchases for me they are big purchases I agree that they're big purchases but a few pairs of my trainers are broken and really hurting my feet not that I need to justify this but they're like damaging my feet it's my white trainers that are the worst culprit and I've been saying for ages I needed like a new pair of neutral trainers I don't necessarily think these are the neutral trainers if I'm gonna be honest I think these will be a little bit <laughs> divisive um I feel like you'll either love them or hate them i got a pair of new balance but they're like the slip-on mule new balance I saw these in the shop and was instantly drawn to them doug like couldn't stop laughing at me they just i really like them like i just thought they looked so cool this is like the perfect shoe for me because you know i keep buying slip-on shoes I, like nearly all my most worn shoes are slip-on so like my Birkenstocks, my Uggs, um, I've got like three or four pairs of Smart Mules from Kurt Geiger and my slides, like my Croc slides are all that I wear in the summer and I put these on and I just fell in love with them and hear me out yeah, they're £125, I got them for £52. I'm going to show you them on so you can understand the vision a bit more. They're actually so comfortable, like, hear me out, I think with my denim skirt, like a long one, and little white socks, and then a little slip on New Balance. Perfect. Second pair of trainers, but again, feel very me. I know gazelles are very like of the moment, but that's okay. I've never had a trainer that's this slim, and I'm not gonna lie, I was just overwhelmed by the color choice. Like I'll insert a picture of how many colors there were now. They are really comfortable. I feel like they've got really good arch support. I definitely think they're a shoe for like my cooler outfits, but I'm overall really happy with the color I got. So like I wouldn't wear these with a super casual outfit. I think 
I want to pair these with like a really colourful outfit. Really pleased with the colour I got. The colour I actually wanted, um, I haven't seen them in months. They're like a baby blue with a burgundy stripe. I think they're quite hard to get hold of. But also I don't really like wearing blue trainers with blue jeans. So I think the green was a better choice. Next up was an impulse buy, which is actually very unlike me. Um, I wasn't unhappy that I made the impulse buy. Yeah, I just was surprised that I impulse bought. It was the Eternal Muse heatless curler, the jumbo ones. These are like the Ferrari of heatless curlers, supposedly, and I'm not gonna lie. So it's 30 quid. Fucking seagulls. It came with two of these really big green scrunchies um, and this green clip. I know it's a lot to spend on a heatless curler. And the packaging was absolutely gorgeous and i know i think that's what you're paying for her you're paying for the packaging like a beautiful card beautiful sticker beautiful tissue paper i'm not gonna lie this is the best heatless curler ever i'm not just saying that because i spent 30 pounds on it but i see a lot of people talking about how like once you get this you realize that all the cheap ones like aren't good and i'm not gonna lie i've never been able to make the cheap satin ones work so the one i use i can't find it is microfiber because it's really really comfortable all the satin ones i've had are like really really hard this is really really comfortable to sleep on i got the jumbo one because i wanted more of like a casual blowout look rather than a curly look and this is what it gives this is what it gives this is so comfortable to sleep in i'm really enjoying it so far i think it was a good um investment from me i know it's a lot judge me if you want for spending 30 pounds on a heatless curler but i can't help it i'm judging me too i bought these socks from mns to go with my new trainers um my colorful ones look let me show you brazil <laughs> that's quite cute as well that's less so, but I think the pink is cute too. Yeah, I just wanted some bright and colourful socks. I think the yellow is the cutest. I picked up some bits from Boots last week and I don't remember what they were. I re-upped on this Detail soap. I just wanted to show you all because I know everyone who's used that has really liked it. And I found two of the wild refills in a flavours I've been searching for for ages. I found these in Big Tesco. Amber and Oud and Coconut and Vanilla. I've literally been hunting high and low for these because you have to place a minimum order of, I think, four refills on the website. Um, and I couldn't be bothered to do that, to be honest. So I hate ordering stuff online. So I just picked these up. And last but not least, I didn't buy this, but Doug bought it for me. When we were out shopping on Saturday, we went into Seoul and Gold. Seoul and gold? Seoul gold? And I've been looking for a pinky ring for ages. I almost got him this ring from another more expensive shop um, that he was gonna wear as a pinky. And I said, oh, I'd love that, but I'd love it in gold. And they didn't have it in gold and they could have made it in gold, but it would have literally been like 800 pounds because it was a proper jewelry shop. Um, I say proper jewelry shop as in like, it was a silversmithing shop where they like make and resize everything. It was a fine jewelry shop. And we came across these which is exactly the same as what we wanted um, in gold and silver for a really reasonable price. So we got little matching pinky rings. And I was really impressed because this is a size E. I have really small hands. Admittedly, it's probably still a bit big. It wouldn't fit on my left pinky. It's too big for my left pinky, but it fits on my right pinky really comfortably any tighter and I think I would have got claustrophobic. But yeah, all in all, quite significant damage to my bank account lately, but I haven't actually been spending a lot this year. I've been on a bit of a low spend vibe, so I'm saving money on books and coffees. So I might as well funnel it into somewhere else. These are done after like, an hour in the fridge they didn't need to be in that long i just forgot them um clean hands obviously i do think they're slightly better if you can put them in dark chocolate but oh well gnocchi and it looks like baked beans i wanted cheese in it and dad doesn't like cheesy stuff in his so he's got just tomatoes but yeah it's my dinner it looks kind of boring dinner was gorgeous i'm realizing it's a lot later than i thought it was because of how light it is outside but that's not the worst problem in the world to have i'm just taking off my makeup with the ordinary squalene cleanser as my ride or die at the moment i was gonna settle down and edit tonight but i think i've done enough for one day 
I am going to put my heatless curler in tonight, so I'm going to show you how I do that as well. I've got clean bedding. I'm going to put on clean pyjamas, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to start a new book. I'm going to have a cup of tea. I'm going to try get an early night and hopefully kick what remains of this cold. Second cleanse, I'm still obsessed with the Aveeno oat cleanser. Just two pumps of that does the job. Funny because I was intending to have a bed rot day today and just, you know, not do any of the stuff I've done. And surprise, surprise, I actually feel a lot better for getting up and doing stuff and being outside in the fresh air and moving my body, even just a little bit. Right, I'm going to rush through this heatless curler tutorial because... I just want to get into bed. It's half eight. I'm ready. I'm ready to call it quits for the evening. So I don't put any product in my hair to do this except for a little spritz of water and then just brush it through like really well. I really never used to understand how this worked. I could never get the hang of it and it's only been since I've been trying it recently that I've been able to make it work. I've honestly tried like multiple times and I think it's that I was using shit heatless curlers. So I've got one from Curl Halo that I really like. It's like a microfiber. It feels like a dressing gown belt. Also the difference between that one and my Eternal Muse one is that one is a bit smaller. So you get a bit of like a smaller curl look. Um, it's a bit tighter and it feels, this is more of a blowout style one, this one, but that one's really comfortable to sleep on. I will say this leaves my hair feeling smoother because it's satin. They have a tutorial on their TikTok for this, so I followed their TikTok tutorial. So I take a chunk from the front and I have it like fairly near the front and I go up and over and keep it flat, wrap it till it's nearly at the end. And then I add another piece in. I don't know if that's explained very well. But I just go from there and then, yeah, just keep wrapping. And do it as tight as you can, because this does undo. That's the only thing. And I take a little bit from the back as well, because I don't want the front of my hair to only be the bit that's curled. That's the only thing I haven't quite mastered with the satin one because obviously the microfiber one is very, very grippy. Um, so it doesn't twist, it doesn't unravel, it doesn't come loose. I feel like this one comes quite loose in the night, no matter how tight I wrap it. I am a side sleeper, I will say that. So that doesn't help. I asked one of my friends who does heatless curls really regularly what she does, and she sleeps with the grip in. Um, which I think I could do to be honest because I'm more of a side sleeper and obviously it's on the top of my head so like I wouldn't technically feel it but yeah look so I hold it like that and it unravels like that so I don't really know I push it up don't really know how to stop it no matter how many times I've held it it doesn't stop it twisting anyway let's do the second side because I have a way to keep it tight at the back when you tie it and if you twist them like away from your head. You can feel it tighten. That's my heatless cow. But yeah, I don't know. It looks pretty cute in the morning. I sometimes give it like an extra spray if I feel like it's not damp enough. But this just keeps slipping back no matter how tight I do it. So yeah, if anyone has any advice, by all means, let me know. Trying with the grip on my head, but I will be sleeping with a bonnet one I think because I couldn't find any of my silk pillowcases and I don't want my hair to get frizzy. But I'm just about to settle in and start this tandem read, which is really intimidating to me and has been for a while. So if you're not familiar with the tandem read, I've pre-tabbed this. I had these little tabbies. Um, let me get it up on my phone for you. The tandem read is Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. You read them at the same time because the events of the book take place at the same time. They are just two different books. There are two ways of reading Throne of Glass, which is the romantic way and the purest way, which just affects which order you read everything in so it just depends on where you want to read the assassin's blade i've read it in the romantic way which is where you read assassin's blade as the fourth book and it gives you the most emotional impact and this is reading it as the way it should be written read 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 written you know what i mean so i would have liked to have done the tandem read with two physical books but i honestly can't be asked to lug around two physical books so i've got um empire of storms on my kindle and I will be following this guide, which is why I've tabbed 
the physical book just to remind me where to switch over. So I've got to start with reading Empire of Storms all the way up to chapter five and then I can read chapter one of Tower of Dawn, etc, etc. Yeah, I'm gonna log off for now and get into this. I hope you've enjoyed this little quiet, cosy, productive vlog today. You enjoyed joining me on my productive Monday. I always feel like this style of vlog is a little bit boring, but I know a lot of you really enjoy it. And to be honest, I enjoy filming it. But if this does ever get boring, let me know because I don't have a lot of variety in my life. We'll see you on the next video. If this was your first video of mine, I hope you enjoyed your stay. Stay a little while longer. Subscribe if you like. Turn the little bell on. My socials, as always, are in the bio. And yeah, I will see you on the next video. Have a lovely rest of your evening or week or day whenever you're watching this.